Hi, this is Valerie Gatch with a tutorial on how to move your Lightroom photos and catalog to an external hard drive. This is one of the most frequently asked questions about Lightroom, and the usual reason is that you're starting to run out of space on your internal drive, so you want to move your photos to a higher capacity external drive. It's not hard to do, but you do need to make sure you do it the right way to avoid complications. I'll show you how. The key to doing it is to do it all in Lightroom, and this way Lightroom knows exactly where your images are. It can keep track of them and you won't lose your edit history. Now remember that Lightroom does not actually contain your images, it merely makes an association or reference to them. So if you try to move your images, say, in Explorer or in Mac Finder, then Lightroom won't know where your images are anymore. So the next time you open the program, you would see a little icon that says photo is missing with an exclamation point next to your images. So you want to avoid that at all costs. So one more thing before we get started. It's always a good idea to back up both your catalog and your images before you make any kind of move like this. First, you need to get your external hard drive to show up in Lightroom. Connect and turn on your drive. Then in Lightroom, click on the plus symbol next to your folders panel. This dialog box opens. Click on Add Folder, and you'll see your Windows Explorer. Find your external drive. Mine is this F drive, the Seagate. Click on it. Click on New Folder, and create a new folder with a, with a significant name. I'm going to call mine My Light room photos. Highlight that folder and click on select. And then now you'll see my Seagate external drive shows up here under my folders. And then clicking this little arrow here, you can see there's my newly created folder. When I click on that, of course it's empty since I haven't moved anything yet. Now to move folders, from your C drive over to your external drive, it's very simple. If you want to move a group of folders, hold down the shift key, click on the first folder, and click on the last, and now you have your group selected, and then simply drag and drop them to your new folder. If you only want to move select folders, click on the first one holding the shift key, click on the next one you want to move, and just those folders will be highlighted. I'm just going to move this grease folder for right now. So I'm going to click on it here and drag and drop it into my new folder on my external drive. And then you'll see this warning message popped up telling me that this move cannot be undone. Now it might look a little scary, but what it's really saying is that you just can't use the undo command, which is command or control Z. But you could always drag your folders back to your internal drive, back to their original location if you wanted to. So I'm going to ignore that and click Move, and then you'll see my images are being moved. And here is my new, here's my Seagate, here's my new location for my Grease folder. One thing to keep in mind, if you're moving hundreds or even thousands of images, that could be a lot of gigabytes and it will take some time for them to move from one drive to the other. Next I'll show you how to move your catalog. Keep in mind that it's perfectly okay to have your catalog and your images on separate drives. You don't necessarily have to move your catalog to your external drive just because you have your images there. In fact, some people prefer to keep their catalog on their internal drive, especially if that drive is faster than their external one. So keep that in mind. If you want to move your catalog either to a different location on your internal drive or to an external drive, you simply use Windows Explorer or Finder on Mac. By default, the Lightroom Catalog folder is in the Pictures folder on your hard drive. If you can't remember where you stored your catalog, here's how you find it. In the top menu, click on Edit, Catalog Settings, and under the General tab, you'll see the location of your catalog right here. Click on Show to bring it up in Windows Explorer, and there you see it's highlighted. And from here, you can simply drag and drop it wherever you want to your new location. Once you've moved your catalog, double-click on the catalog file to launch Lightroom right from within Windows Explorer. 
This is important to do so that Lightroom recognizes the new location of your catalog. So as you can see, moving your images and your catalog is actually pretty straightforward. To recap, you move your images from within Lightroom so that Lightroom can keep track of their location. You move your catalog using Windows Explorer or Finder. Finally, I want to remind you to back up your Lightroom catalog after every session. And don't forget to back up your backups as well as your images on a regular basis using whatever backup system you have in place, whether it's cloud storage, a secondary external hard drive, or a backup service. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to click the like and the subscribe buttons below. Thanks for watching and hope to see you on a future tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything. In the meantime, go out and have fun with your camera, and I'll see you back here soon.